Hi all, Cynthia here, back with a 8.5 by 11 layout, and this is using my February kit from the Wild Hair Kits. If you saw my unboxing, you'll know I absolutely loved this kit. The papers that were in it were just beautiful. Um, I don't think there's a paper in here that I did not love, in particular this one here from Amy Tangerine, Shine On Collection. I, my, I think I cut every leaf out, um, just made to be fussy cut and I cut them all out as I said and I tucked them behind the photos and my clusters, just beautiful. So with this particular layout I did cut the, the leaves out as in little groups, three or four together, but after that I pretty much cut all the leaves out individually and tucked them behind um, my layouts. Just love it. So I'm going through the papers here to see what I want to use. I grab out a piece of white cardstock just from my stash and I'm going to start laying it up. I do trim it down here because as I said it is a 8.5 by 11 layout. Just trim it down. Realised that I didn't trim it quite straight and uh, yeah, you know, it does sort of Get a bit scuffy when I trim it just such a small amount up so I take this gorgeous paper I'm pretty sure it's a crepe paper Go on, correct me if I'm wrong um, and I tear it into strips I do come back a little bit later and I fiddle around some more with this you'll see what I end up doing but the concepts there, I want to tear two strips and put it behind my cluster of photos and embellishment just to create some movement and direction and interest in the background. And in the end, that is exactly what it does. But as I say, you'll see I mix it up a little bit here. Putting those down, I'm starting to like the idea of where this is going. So as you may all know that when I start a page, I have absolutely no idea how it was going to work out. I generally start with photos and that is it. And I just go and grab the papers and my embellishments and see where I can go to from there. So I'm starting to lay those up. I decide that I do need some more um, leaves and I go back into my stash a little bit later on and trim some more out but I can say it's not quite looking the way I want it I don't like it this arrow or chevron looking quite so messy so I trimmed it up a little bit cut it in half and I'm going to have a little bit poking out the top and a little bit taking out the bottom so you can see more of it and that is perfect that's exactly what I was looking for so I trim that down and I do the same with the other one. Just neaten it up a little bit and I'm going to create the direction. So by the time I put these arrows back on and I put all my elements back on top of it, I think it gives flow to the page, get a bit of movement from top to bottom and I really like the way that looks. So I'm going to stick these elements down and I'm going to start tucking all these leaves back in behind the elements. Some up in the top right hand corner and some more down in the bottom left hand corner. Just little bits tucking them in behind each other so it looks like they're all layered up as they did on the page. There we go, and this is where I decided I didn't quite cut enough out, so I go back in to that paper and I do trim some more out. Just checking to see which ones I want, um, trying to get the ones, the clusters to sort of, or the, the leaves to sort of go in the right direction for what I, where I want to put them. Tuck that in there, just fill that corner in, and then I go back and I cut some more out to go in the other corner over here beside behind get the words out Cynthia behind that smile and camera ephemera piece there we go perfect put that down there and then I trim off any excess that I have 
and I'm liking the way that looks so now I have a little bit of movement coming out from that end as well. Go into my stash and I pull out some bits and pieces from the ephemera pack so this is from Paige Evans and this is totally gorgeous. I'll pull out the butterflies I find I can use butterflies on most pages the little whimsy word and a few other bits and pieces that I spread around and I also grab out some of those enamel no acrylic I should say heart pieces oh my god I had if you saw my unboxing again you would know that I received a ton of those in um, this month's kit and they are just to die for that so cute and adorable from Bramble Fox um, these ones are sort of um, all different shape hearts in yellows and pale pinks and white and there's just a massive stack and I used I think I use some on every layout and I've still got oodles left which is awesome because um, they're so versatile you can use them on anything there we go and go and tuck those little strawberries in there because when else will you ever use a strawberry with other than when the girls are playing in the garden and that's why the little rabbits made it onto the page too I mean rabbits are in the gardens aren't they so the photos are just of my two granddaughters and their friend um, being monkeys in the garden carrying on being silly there we go I've grabbed this word phrase here and I'm going to pop that up on a little bit of foam as long with the one wing of each butterfly I'm pretty sure I popped up as well just to give some dimension to the page sticking that down with these hearts if you have received these before or if you haven't either way when you get them there is a plastic film or coating on both sides so all the um acrylic pieces that you get from Bramble Fox have a coating on both sides so you need to peel that off sometimes it can be a bit tricky to see that it's on there it took me uh, I think the first time I didn't peel them off both sides only one side taken this uh, border strip from the same paper that the leaves are cut from so it's from the back of the Amy Tangerine paper and I love that it seems to like ground or contain the photos so it traps them in and then the leaves to me seem to ooze out or explode out burst out from the sides as if it's busted and it's coming out so I really like the way it's give a lot of dimension or not dimension movement to the page here we go I've just grabbed my little exacto knife and I use that to peel off the plastic on the um, enamel pieces and I use mm, gel medium to stick my pieces down with it dries clear and um, it's a nice strong adhesive it's probably the strongest adhesive I have what else look at all those hearts there oh there's oodles of them totally gorgeous hmm now this chipboard piece I try and I try and I try some more but it does not make it on the page it just doesn't seem to bend the right direction but I give it my best shot a couple of different times I put it back on I'll come back to it a couple more times I think before I give up on it I want to add something just below the whimsy whimsy word I want to keep saying whimsical but it's whimsy um, word and so I go back through the stickers this sticker sheet here if you see my previous video or one of my previous videos I pretty much killed that whole sheet on one layout so I took some inspiration from Jen Scow in one of her use it or lose it videos I knew I would struggle to use some of the elements on there like the vacuum cleaners it was all mum related washing machines vacuum cleaners ovens all that type of stuff what I generally don't scrap about um, so I as I said took some inspiration and used them pretty much on one layout 
went back through the ephemera pieces. Now I'm just looking at the bits and pieces left over from last month's kit, which are not going to work. And I find this piece here, and then I go back to the chipboard pieces to see whether there's anything on there I can use. And can you guess which one I attempt to, attempt to get on the page? Yes, I tried to get that um, orangey one back on the page, and then no, yeah, it doesn't work. Take it off the page. I don't use it. I end up using this one here, add another little heart, and it is done. That is pretty much the end of the layout. There are some close-up photos, so make sure you hang around and have a look at those. Just put this last one down, and that is it. So love this one. Love all the, the movement and the explosion and just the elements on the page. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this process. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment. You know I love reading comments. I do respond. And until next time, everyone, have a lovely day, a lovely week, or a lovely month. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.